I'm the oldest bass fishing channel on YouTube. Most people don't care. I'm glad I did it. Hello and welcome to this little CCB vlog. Well, this is going to be, well obviously by the title, a history of the fact that I'm pretty much the oldest bass fishing channel on YouTube and sort of kind of how that came about. I was telling some of my viewers one night on one of my lives that that, that was the case because I mean a lot of people you get on YouTube you start watching people you don't really look back at all their old stuff you don't a lot of times realize how long they've been on YouTube you just find them and you like them so you follow them and you watch all their newer stuff but I actually I go back to October 6, 2006. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest fishing channel. But I've actually been pretty much a YouTuber since 1986. Yes, I know YouTube wasn't around then, but that's when I got my first really high-end VHS camera. All right, so let's just get into how I progressed onto YouTube so many years later. So I said, I got this camera in 1986. It was like a top of the line Hitachi. It was like $2,000. And it was one of those, I don't have it anymore, but it was like the big weight, like 20 pounds, like news camera. And at the time, I was a skateboarder and skate videos started coming out. So a lot of what I did for the first like 10 years I had that camera was mostly skateboarding videos. But in 1989, with that camera, I did produce my very first fishing show. And this is some clips from that. Yeah, I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for that outfit and my 80s hair I had. But yeah, that was, I went out with my roommate. That was a lake that was right by my house in San Luis Obispo. I lived in San Luis Obispo at the time. And that was my first ever boat little 11 foot boat I built it into a bass boat had a live well and everything so I said hey let's go film a fishing show so that's where that came from then flash forward to like 1995 I had a bass pro friend named Mark Heinsen I came up with the original concept of Central Coast Bass in 1995 I wasn't gonna be the host I wanted him to be the host I was gonna do the filming and editing and by the way it was VHS to VHS editing no computer editing back in that time but he didn't, I don't know, we went out and filmed one, practiced one. I have it somewhere, it's not on my computer, it's on a VHS tape, so I can't be showing that one, I wish I had it. We went out, we filmed a little one, I think it was called Sluggo Fishing. Maybe someday I can find it in my storage and, and upload it. Then, I don't know, he was busy and I kind of got busy. Then later on, around 2003, I bought a bass boat and I started fishing on the bass boat again and I went back to him and he said he didn't have time so I decided all right I'll uh, I'll just do the show myself and back then back then you know there was no internet there was no way to to uh, give it to people except I would put them on VHS tapes and hand it to my friends <laughs> basically it was like walking around and like oh here and I would do a cool production of thing on and have a sleeve and give it to him and then I kind of thought of cable access I knew somebody that worked at the, the TV station, uh, NBC, KSBW. They were doing a fish show, fishing show called Fishmasters. And I kind of talked to him about that. And he said, hey, why don't you put it on cable access? So I went to cable access, figured out the whole thing. And so this is actually the first introduction to my show that actually appeared in, I think it was 2004, on cable access.
and back at that time, since I had my bass boat, I always wanted to do tournaments. I entered like, I entered one club full time and I, I fished two other clubs. I did pretty good. The one club I focused on, look at that. I got second place angler of the year. Yeah, I missed first place by two points. So at that time, I also just started my show and everybody's like, how'd you get your own show? You know, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I've been editing a long time and filming and you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it's weird because it was on TV and people could watch it, but they started asking me if they could buy them. And I'm like, well, you can just record them off the TV, but they wanted them. So I produced my own DVD of my show, five show DVD. Yeah, Margarita, Lopez, yeah. I did all of them. And it's, uh, this is the only production version I have of it. Yeah, I might be the only YouTuber that actually has a DVD of this YouTube show. <laughs> anyway, that was prior to YouTube in existence. Okay, so let's flash forward a little bit since I don't want to make this like 20 years long like the adventure was, but. So 2005, I moved to San Francisco, sold off my boat. I had a business I was doing at a clothing store. I moved it up there. Then YouTube came out in 2005. I learned about it around 2006 because, you know, it wasn't big, but a neighbor of mine told me about it. So that's when I joined YouTube, October 6, 2006. I was actually about a month before Google bought them, which really blew it up, and that's why we all know it now. So I was actually in San Francisco from 2005 till 2009. Getting in 2009, I moved back here. For the first three years, well, like two years and some change, I was on YouTube. I wanted to do it as a bass fishing channel, but I didn't have anything because I wasn't, I, I was in San Francisco, I was doing my own business, I worked it myself, I didn't really have time to fish. So I started uploading all of these shows from Cable Access and then I like split them up and cut them up and made them little shorts and all the other stuff. So yeah, the first two years was all that. And all those shows, I told you I had the VHS tape. Well, that died in like 96. And so for those shows, I still have it. Yes, I bought a high eight. This is like the best thing we had back then. So all those shows and everything else are on the VHS, are on the high eight. So yeah, so I started doing that. And then I moved down here in 09 after 08 and the crash and all that. I closed the store, I moved here in 09. I moved here, but I didn't have, I didn't know anything about the fishing here. I didn't know where the lakes were. I wanted to get all my knowledge. I'd been fishing for bass for like 20 years at that point. I wanted to get all that knowledge on tape. Like all the things I learned, how I learned, how I fished, all that. So that's where these came about. The tips and tricks. Then since I am a wildlife biologist, I started doing the biology bites. And at that time, you know, I was using the Hi8 before. Uh, obviously, cameras did it. Now we had things on flash drives and all that. You didn't have to have tape. So I actually got myself some Canons. This is a Canon uh, Vixia HD, you know, to the car. It's actually got its own hard drive in it. And uh, yeah, so that's that's when I upgraded cameras finally from tape to actually, like now everybody, your, your phone films five times better than this thing. But that's all I have. But that was my upgrade. Now I have, you know, I have GoPros. I have different cameras that I use. But that was my first upgrade. Most of those tips and tricks, a lot of them were done on a flash drive. So for like, uh, I think the uh, first three years, I think nine, 10, 11, my shows were pretty much just tips and tricks about your bites. A lot of people liked them. They were loving them. They loved my sort of take on fishing and all that because it wasn't really like what the pro said. I wasn't selling up a product. I was more observational stuff. But then people started asking me if I would do more shows. Could you do more shows? Because my shows I had from here were still hanging around and they'd seen him and known him. And so that's when I found the test pond. Test pond's where I did all my tips and tricks and that. That's the uh, 
dock that I was usually on was right there. So I did a few, I started doing a few shows at the test pond. Then I'd known about Pino, so then I started filming some at Pino. Then the problem was my shows, my shows originally, like all these were a technique. Junior Spooky Margarita, Buzzing Lopez, Rattling Lopez, Jerking Lopez, Junior Spook Nasi. And that's kind of the way I wanted to keep the shows. It was just about one technique and I went out and taught you that. Then when I got to Margarita, I got to Pino, and then I finally ended up having a boat at Pino. I kind of filmed all the shows that were about like a bait or a certain thing and then bite would be on that for a while I couldn't find another bite to do a show so I sort of I sort of kind of stopped filming then around like two, 2016 or something I mean I was still doing tips and tricks of biology bites here and there full shows just sort of I just for what I wanted to do with them just didn't exist because I kind of went over most of the techniques that I wanted but then I, then vlogging started coming out I think it was in 2016 when I had my boat there I started started these the CCB vlogs And then those were just sort of like quick little things and just multiple baits, whatever I caught them on, whatever the day gave me fish in that. I started doing a lot of those. And then if I found a bite that I could do a whole show on, I would do a show on a certain bite or a certain technique. Then Pino uh, cut me off. I, I had my boat there because I just had my car. I didn't have, you know, it was, it was, I paid to store it there. So I had the boat I could go there. I had to get rid of the boat. Then I started finding all the other lakes around here. And like a lot of my shows now, they're at Uvis, they're at Chesbro, they're at Stevens Creek, they're at Anderson, and they're at O'Neill Forbay. So I switched to doing the shows and I couldn't really do technique type stuff because I was on shore and that. So then the show sort of became the vlog, but in the shore format because I had sort of different intros and different ways I put together each show. So then the shows sort of became vloggish style but with the intro and everything as the shows then uh, yeah I, sp I spent a lot of time in 2017 2018 2019 doing that and then all of a sudden it shifted again I decided okay the shows and the vlogs because I'm still sort of doing both but they were still both sort of the same thing so I didn't really need to split myself up and have two different shows when it's basically the same show so then I decided to do the shows, but only do the shows when it's with people. And I think that started in like 2019, 2020, during that whole COVID weird thing. And then the vlogs were just me. So that's sort of been the progression of my sort of lineage of me being on YouTube for 15 years, basically. And now I have it, you know, now I have it down. Now I finally, after all this time, I, I know I'm a slow learner, everything. My shows originally, when I wanted to look like TV shows, like Roland Martin and all that stuff more. I wasn't, I wasn't into the whole, I, I just took me a long time to get into the whole way YouTube did and that. But so, now I have it. Now I have my vlogs, which are just me. They're really, they're quicker. And you guys saw this intro. The intros are that kind of style now. And then now I sort of have my show set and the way I set my shows up. Well, here's an intro to the way my shows are set up in the beginning right now. Did you get one? Yeah, I got one. You got one? Hey! Posh town when you're in, out here and you have the dogs have their own island. Oh, uh -oh, wait. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? I pulled a Giuliani. <laughs> Hey CCB crew, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And with the shows, yeah, I did I did the intro, I had a B-roll, I really wanted B-roll, so I put B-roll in it, because that was a YouTube thing, and I just said, nah, you don't need it, you don't need it. But I was resistant, but, so I put that in there, and I figured it'd be good to promote other people and show their name and have them say, please like, share, and subscribe to Send Chris Bass. So now, finally, after like 15 years, I sort of have, a YouTube more friendly format for my shows, I guess, and the way they flow and the way they go and the way they're 
they're different, but they're still kind of more like other people's YouTube videos, not old school TV fishing videos. So that's that's been that's been the lineage of it. I'm hoping eventually, at, at some point, I start actually <coughs> making it a business and making money off it because I've definitely spent the time. So that's it, guys. Please give this video some thumbs up, share it out, and help me out a lot. Hit that little red thing down there, turn it gray, and give me a sub, because I'm not going away. I just, I love doing it too much, and I love everybody I've met on here, all my friends, people have followed me for the last four or five years, and um, it's meant a lot to me. Thanks. That was terrific! Great! Yeah! Fresh, fresh, fantastic! Yeah, it's really great! Piskey, yeah! <laughs>